functions in hint window. As you can guess, the functions in hint window is made up of two separate sections, the functions and the hint window. The functions section has a number of buttons that allow you to switch the lower section of the interface to work with a particular task. They are all listed here. The playlist gives you the opportunity to arrange your songs for playback. Moving down the column, next you have the sampler section, where you can pre-record audio with Decadance for playback later. The VST host section is where you can load up your VST effect or instrument plugins. If you do choose to use some form of MIDI control within Decadance, then it will be here that you will set this up. You may have some specialist DJ equipment, and this is where you would go if you need to organize it so that it will work with Decadance. Relooper is a special tool that allows you to slice up and reorder sections of the music on the fly. DMX is a special protocol that is used to control equipment such as lighting and fog machines. When this video was made, this particular feature was unavailable. Finally, you have a setup section. This allows you to choose which folders that Decadance will use for which purpose, as well as giving access to options like skinning. These function windows will be covered in later videos. The hint section of the interface, as you most likely have already noticed, changes to provide information about what your mouse is currently pointing at. To recap, we have covered the various functions on offer within Decadance. The next two videos are devoted to showing you how to use Decadance's track window and transport controls.